So guys, I'm all set up to cook inside the van. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how I do it. You know, obviously I have my kettle here. This is a butane burner. You got to turn your flame on. And you always want to make sure you have some ventilation. I use this cute little bottle for my oils and I bought these online. I also bought some baby food containers, but this really works great for olive oil, anything like that. So I'm gonna heat that up. I'm gonna put my toast down. I have a cute little toaster and it works really good. It only draws, let's see, it's drawing 600. It does draw pretty much wattage. It's like 674 watts. take a couple of these sun-dried tomatoes I'm gonna cut some of these up turn my heat down a little bit You don't have to cut them up too small. I'm just going to do a little Mediterranean. And then I use black olives. I'm going to take maybe one, two, maybe three black olives. I really like black olives. Cut those up. And you got your oil in your pan. cooking in a van it's never going to be level so you can see just by looking at that right there here's my little spice rack Put some salt on there some black, black pepper mix these. Scramble them up a little bit. I mean you could do an omelet. It's just easier to just do it this way. Cut up your spinach a little bit. But spinach doesn't have to be cut up too fine because as soon as it starts to get in the heat, it wilts. And just take all your other ingredients, put them in there. It smells like my toast is already done. And you can put a little bit of um, butter on your toast if you want to. It smells so good inside this van right now. <laughs> Doesn't that look wonderful? And I'm just sitting here cooking inside the van. And I always take a little bit of cheese. Now I don't have the cheese that I use most of the time. As I use Havarti. I don't have any. But I do have a little Parmesan. I'm just going to cut a little bit of Parmesan.
And all you basically are waiting for is your spinach to wilt a little bit. Now it's going to be harder to put this on two pieces of bread because I didn't do an omelet like I wanted to do. But you know what, guys? We'll make it work. And that only took like a minute to make this breakfast. And it's done. Now we're just gonna pile it onto our toast. So now it's time to eat. We just whipped up our brec our breakfast within minutes. Mmm, it's really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's a good breakfast. It is delicious. And you're sitting beside the beach. Stealth parking. The coffee is still hot. This Yeti is wonderful. It just keeps everything nice and hot. Yum. Mmm. So good. Such a good breakfast. Again, Mediterranean eggs. I put some black olive, some sun-dried tomatoes, salt, pepper. That's all there is to it, guys. I'm in the minivan. Making breakfast. So, yeah. Are you guys ready for Christmas? I am pretty much ready. I said in my last video, I got everything purchased ahead of time because of the supply shortage. I was concerned about that. So, I had everything ordered in advance. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this particular video was um, done so you could see how easy it is to cook inside my van. I mean, this system, this, this freeway camper kit system gives you so much flexibility. I mean, as you can see, I have a table in here with my platform for my bed. I have this, this um, little table attachment that comes with the kit that just slips right into my platform on my bed. I mean, I could sit in here all day, literally, if it was bad weather or something, and do video editing, um, watch movies, cook, whatever I need to do, because I don't have any need to get out of the van. I even have my toilet inside the van if I would need to use it inside the van, because normally when I'm at a campsite, I set up my shower tent. But when you're stealth parking, you can set up your shower tent, so your toilet has to be inside your van. So I have plenty of room in here to go to the bathroom if I absolutely have to. I prefer not to do that. I usually go and find a public restroom, but if, hey, if you have an emergency situation, you have it here. So I literally could, you know, exist on a rainy day or, and the reason I'm doing this guys is because I'm going to BLM land and I'm gonna have days when it might be bad weather or it might be too windy to be outside cooking. So this way I have everything figured out how I'm going to do it before I go. It's like a dry run for BLM land. So I usually never cook inside my van because I don't like to have the smells in my van. But you know what, guys? I like it. And I think it works. So I hope you guys are having a great holiday. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, leave them below. I always get back to all of my people when they, live, when they leave me comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the likey, the thumbs up if you like the video, and hit the bell for notifications so you know whenever I do another video. I haven't done any for a while because it's been too cold. And I camp, I'm a weekend camper. I'm not a full-time nomad. So for me, if it's bad weather, you're not gonna see me out camping unless I'm gonna go down south or out west. And my last south down south trip was in March of this year. For two weeks, I went down to Florida and I, recorded every single campground that I stayed in 
and it was wonderful. But in the winter time, you won't see as many videos because I'm not camping as much. I'll do some demonstration videos, um, different products that I buy, let you know what I think of them. I can do that kind of stuff, but I'm not gonna do as many videos. So it's been a while since I posted one, but still ring the bell so you know when I'm doing a video. <laughs> okay, don't forget. God bless you guys. I hope you have a great weekend coming up here and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.